Well, Stephen, a convincing win. What does it say about your players, the way they, they dealt with pressure and took that game to Hibs tonight? We've done it before, yeah, so I wasn't surprised. Um, I think the heat came from elsewhere, which is normal. It's been heat on myself and this team since the day I walked in the door, but that's what you've got to accept and, and deal with. And We've came here today and put a, a really professional, strong away performance in. Um, Hibs couldn't cope with our intensity and our quality, and um, we thoroughly deserved our win. When you said that, do you feel you you and your team don't get the credit you deserve sometimes? No, listen, it's no. of course we do. We've had, we've had a lot of praise. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. Um, it's just that we're used to being, um, it seems to some people that it's a surprise. It's not to us. We're, we're used to the heat and, and the pressure being on us. So um, we've come here tonight under the lights, TV. Yeah. Everyone's got the headlines ready. You know, with the, the one-man band can't yeah. cope without Alfredo and blah, blah, blah. Uh, unfortunately, they can't write their headlines tomorrow. In saying that, I mean, the whole team was excellent, but, but the front three were, were outstanding, as were the, the midfield three, to be fair. But do you feel that front three with Defoe in there today as well? Do you feel that system and that relationship is starting to grow with every game? Well, I think the, the, the back seven uh, gives us the base and the structure for them three to go and uh, enjoy themselves and, and be free and break the rules, if you like. And um, Obviously, we got off to a perfect start, Joe showing desire and endeavour closing the, 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 the goalkeeper down and that, that's a tough finish mm -hmm. from Ryan Kent. Don't underestimate how tough that was. So that was a good start and then we went and built on that. The second goal was probably my favourite. The interplay, Ryan Jack speeding it up and then the finish from Joe's top draw. And then let's all just admire Jermaine Defoe. He's not going to be around for very much longer so let's just ad admire real high class forward play. The first touch and the second touch mm -hmm. is, is world class and he does what he does. Portius's red card challenge on Barisic obviously sparked a, a reaction from both benches. How did you see that and what was it particularly that sparked that reaction? Just that the, the um, staff trying to defend uh, a tackle like that. Look, we all understand bad tackles. I've done a few myself. There's no problem with that, but you can't defend that. Um, so obviously our emotions are running high but I think uh, when it all cools down both benches need to maybe have a little look at their behaviour and um, I'll certainly be speaking to my staff uh, on that front but um, we were disappointed with the reaction from them trying to defend that because it's a straight red, there's no there's no two ways about it. And again, unfortunately talking about missiles being thrown onto the pitch again while Barisic was down, it's just not what we want to see at football. Not at all, um, I've spoke to that, I've spoke about that too many times now but that's uh, Hibbs's problem mm -hmm. and that's for Jack Ross to deal with because um, if it was Rangers fans I'd be extremely disappointed. Thanks for your time, well Thank done. You. Cheers.